Oh, look at that screen. I can only apologise for that screen. It's uh, not in the best of condition now, but that's what happens when you've got, you know, kids slamming it in and out of the dock all the time. I need to redo the uh, screen protector there. It's coming away. It's coming away. Not good, is it? Anyways, come on, sort of focus that, Phil. There we go. Um, yeah, so we did a video about, or I did a video about Luigi's Mansion, because games I'm trying to play and get through at the moment. And this was the first one that I'm trying to play. Um, yeah, I can see I've been playing it for about, what is that? Come on, sort of focus out. Is that about five and a half hours? This is like last week, week four, I think, when I, no, last week when I filmed this, so it might be a bit more. Um, but checking online, I think that's about like a third of the way through, quarter of a third, Matt, like getting on halfway through, so. So yeah, so cracking on through it. Um, well, not cracking on through it, that's half my trouble, is that um, just finding time to get some time in for games, which is the whole point of this, was to kind of finish through some games that I've got, that I bought. Well, this one didn't get bought, this one um, <clears throat> that came from, um, I think the Merlin Law bought it for the boys at the start of lockdown. Um, but then they've got heavy into Fortnite, so they've not really, uh, not really played it too much. So it's fallen on me to clear out Luigi's Mansion 3. Uh, I'm going to talk over this because this is me just kind of wandering around aimlessly for a bit, not realising what to do because I'm an idiot. Um, so yeah, Luigi's Mansion 3. This is obviously the third one um, in the series. Um, Luigi's Mansion was in my top 100 list. I want to say it was like the 100th and something. It was in like the 40th, no, 40th. 100 and something, Jesus Christ, only a list of 100. It was in the 40s somewhere, I think. Let me have a quick look. It was number 47. My 47th favourite game of all time. Um, had the Switch, uh, not Switch 1, the 3DS one as well. The Luigi's Mansion 2, the Dark of the Moon. Like that. Uh, that was good. Enjoyed that one. It's quite interesting having it on the handheld uh, rather than the kind of, what was the machine at the time? The Wii U, I think it was. The Switch, Wii or the Wii U, whatever. But it's good. Enjoyed playing that as well. Bit more of the same, um, but... Can't really argue that when a game was good in the first place. Um, and then we've got this one again. This one, Luigi's Mansion 3. Similar story. Um, Luigi and his uh, bros and pals go to a holiday in this big hotel. Turns out it's ghosts in there. Uh, most of them get captured apart from Luigi. He's out, you know, hoovering them all up. Trying to catch stuff. At the moment, I'm trying to, you know, you're trying to get buttons for this lift, I guess, to get to where the boss is at some point. Um, this is kind of... Not happy this section of the game. I'll come to this section in a minute. Um, going through each kind of floor, doing your tasks, trying to find stuff. That's not going to help, It's not. It's too dirty for that. Uh, do you meet a boss? Beat the boss. Um, they give you the button. Or you take the button from them, and then you're off to the next stage and repeat. So this is where I'm at the moment, just kind of going through this, this process at the moment. Um, and it's what what I don't like about this bit currently, just while we're, we're looking at this bit, is that it seems to kind of start doing backtracking. Like, I got the button and then something gets in the way of me getting it and then I have to kind of arbitrarily walk around for a bit before I can get it, if that makes sense. And it just feels quite mm, cynical. That's not really the right word. It feels like it's quite an easy way for them to extend the game time rather than actually kind of doing any kind of anything else. You're just kind of walking back through places you've already been um, to get things, which it never feels great. Um... So yeah, so I'm not happy with this bit. But the overall game, I'm, I'm enjoying it. Uh, Luigi's Mansion 3. Um, having a feral, having a good time. Uh, initially, I was playing it with my, uh, the, like, the Hori split controllers. I think I had that those in my initial video. Those were on the sides. But I found, like, I don't know what it was, but I found the control. I was really struggling with the controls. Like, aiming the, um, the portagust, is that what it's called? Portagust? You vacuum clean out the ghost, suck them in, or aim the torch. Like it just didn't feel as easy as you'd expect in a Nintendo game. It felt really fiddly. It felt like the system was always kind of fighting against me. Um, also, because using the Hori pad, it's not using the tilt controls, so you're not getting that kind of extra assistance to kind of go up and down with it, um, which you do with the Joy Cons. Um, switching back to these, um, I think I mainly was using the Hori pads because my Joy-Cons graphic ends get fixed because they really suffer with Joy-Con drift. Uh, that red one on the, on the right particularly was suffering it bad. Uh, blue one as well. <clears throat> That's 
one that kind of well it's been off like they've been off like two three times to get fixed um so i was using the other pad but then when they came back i switched to using it and it felt it felt a bit better but it still didn't feel comfortable still it always kind of felt like i was fighting against the the the, the controls rather than helping me now, i'm not sure this is due to the way like um like it's in this kind of fixed 3d position where i think luigi always kind of resets his position back so if you're kind of walking down a corridor see me walk in there like that's kind of fine but if i try to rotate it around he always kind of wants to reset back onto like his normal axis which when you try to like walk backwards and get a ghost can be annoying i don't know why i'm looking at the map here why are you looking at the map you need to go downstairs you know you need to go downstairs just go downstairs you gone downstairs yet you just need to Jesus Christ. Anyway, so that yeah, so that's 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 I find like a, an issue with the game is just the controls not being there for you. They they feel like they're in the way of the thing. Um, which, like I say, with a Nintendo game, doesn't normally happen. They're normally you know the controls are as slick as you like. Think about Max, Mario Odyssey, and those kind of games. It's yeah, they're really good. Um, same thing with the pad as well. Like yeah, this is handheld mode. I've played it on the TV with a with the pad. I think like still the same issue there. It's just I don't know. Just something about them is tricky, which makes the bosses tricky because especially the um, there's a medieval one where it's like a knight on a horse, and the 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 time I found the timing for that really difficult to kind of get right. And again, there's you know there's always me being a dafty in there. We can't discount that. But it just I just find it really hard with the controls to kind of get the timing right, get the um, hit with the light in the right place, all that sort of stuff. Not as bad as this, it's just me again being an idiot, not being able to defeat a simple enemy that's just appeared, you know, once in the game. Um, so yeah, so the controls are an issue and that kind of feeds into the, the kind of general gameplay a bit. But like, when we were tied for that for a second, like it looks brilliant, it looks fantastic. Uh, again, that kind of fixed... 3d viewpoint i think really helps with the art style to kind of really help them go to town with it uh you know the kind of transparency effects and the ghosts and that sort of thing just look just look really good and the 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 art design overall like this kind of like so um one place is like a kind of art deco and then there's like the mall and then there's like this big concert hall like all those places are we've got bags of character and you know they're really draw just kind of, kind of walk through um although I do find it annoying that the, with, with the way the game kind of hurries you along. Um, I don't think he's been doing it. I'm trying to think he's doing it for a while. But I remember at the beginning, I was just kind of wandering around the kind of opening areas, hoovering stuff, getting, you know, looking around, see if I can get uh, money and things and jewels. And then, like, um, Professor E. Gad just kept up and up going, have you done this yet? You, you need to get to here. Have you done that? Remember you need to do that? And it was like every kind of couple of minutes just popping up. And I really felt like, like, I don't need to be told how to, what, you know, I don't need to be pushed along. Just let me kind of play the game at my own pace. Although, you know, I end up in a situation like this where I just can't defeat a simple a simple anime character. It's me bringing out Guiji for no reason. Um, that's the other good thing with the game is bringing in your kind of psychic with Guiji. So you kind of do, um, you have to kind of use both characters to do certain, certain puzzles. It's kind of build, I think, not obviously not initially, but it's kind of building up to now where like you have to have Luigi up in one room doing something and swipe across Guiji and go do something that affects Luigi in the other room and that sort of thing. Yes. Yeah, pretty not simple puzzles but by the book kind of puzzles they kind of make sense um this is just me forgetting about all the weapons i've got at my disposal because i'm an idiot we're gonna beat him now there you go remember you got your other torch there we go well done phil um so yeah so greedy's i think is a great thing great addition to the game maybe not um maybe not like overly utilized like I say, I'm only like about a third to a halfway through, so maybe we'll see how it gets up towards the end. But yeah, you know, he's he's a good, fun little character. Him just kind of you know walking around like a big gloopy, like a big gloopy pal. Uh, the other thing to talk about is the music. The music is brilliant. Um, some of the uh, highlights being again like that concert level was, was really good. Where you, uh, you're trying to fight a ghost playing a piano and all the kind of way it kind of lays the music that that. That sequence was really good. Um, and you get the kind of when you're in the mall, you're after like a security cop ghost, and this is kind of really good kind of seventies cop music soundtrack that kind of kicked in. So yeah, I had a great time with the music. It's all that's really good. It's all part of that kind of really polished 
um, package that Nintendo does really well. Although well, to be fair, I'm not done. I'm not really tried the multiplayer stuff yet. Is it like the skyscraper mode? I can't think what it's called. There's like a multiplayer bit to it. I've not really tried that yet. Um, probably should do with the kids because they might enjoy it. I know why it's my youngest. He can't. Well, we just picked up 3D All Stars, Mario 3D All Stars at the same time. And he's really connected with Mario Sunshine of all games. So I don't know if it's like that, that kind of extra mechanic on top of the usual that this gets got. Let's pipe down, pal. Let's pipe down. Um, yeah, so I don't know if it's that kind of extra mechanic on top of the kind of normal Mario stuff is what's kind of got him into it. You know, because you've got the, the flood water cannon thing. So he's just like, he's enjoying, he's enjoying running around kind of spraying stuff. So he might enjoy kind of running around, you know, sucking up ghosts like a Ghostbuster. Uh, but we'll see. I haven't tried on it yet because, again, he's all about the Fortnite as it stands. Um, so yeah, so I've been kind of working my way through the game, uh, enjoying it. Whether or not it's up to the level of the previous Luigi's Mansions, I'm not sure. Um, we'll have to kind of see how it kind of gets up towards the end, because if it carries on doing the backtracking like this, then I'm not going to be very happy, because this is only like, you know, that, there's this ghost cat grab the button, and I had to kind of go to one room to find it, and then somewhere else and somewhere else, and this is probably like the third or fourth step in trying to get it back, which just felt like it was too much, like just too much backtracking. Yeah, you go down sets, but taking long enough to get there. Taking us about 10 minutes to figure that one out. Um, but yeah, I'm enjoying it. It's, it's a really good game. Um, the question is going to be like, as it stands, like it's probably like, you know, it being number three will end up probably being my third favorite of the series so far, which does feel like it's had like a little bit of descending quality. Um, obviously, the first one was, I think the first one was so good just because it felt so, so, so diff, different from everything else, you know. It was a real kind of new thing in that kind of world of Mario. Um, but since then, we've had lots of kind of different Mario games and takes on Mario and that sort of thing, I think. So that probably impact of that difference is somewhat lost at this by this point, which, you know, is fair enough. But the actual, you know, the, the underlying mechanics of the game are still fun. The kind of, oh boy, look at the focus there. That better? Can we see? Now yeah, we can see. Uh, the kind of underlying mechanics of it, you know, still hold up. The kind of walking around, zapping the ghost, banging the ghost against things with your, with your, um, the Jesus vacuum cleaner. That's what it's called. You know, all that kind of stuff still holds up. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying it. So I just feel like the game doesn't feel as, doesn't feel as polished as the other ones. It doesn't feel quite as, I don't know. The, the thing with the controls is, is what's getting me the most is like it doesn't make it fun to play so trying to go back to it it's like oh do I have to which you don't want that feeling in a game and like that's something that Nintendo games very rarely have they tend to always kind of be so well oh what's the word not reviewed so well iterated on and so well refined refined is a good word that you know controls are hardly ever an issue but yeah so don't know what it is but this one's suffering with it a little bit um, so he's still trying to find that flipping cat. So, we'll leave me doing this. I think I'll find it eventually, and that's kind of moving on to the next bit. But yeah, so so far it's good. I'm enjoying it, but it's not as good as it could be. So, you know, what can you do? Oh, hello, Phil. There I am. Yeah, I did a. I was recording this off machine just because, it's like, I don't have an Elgato, so I can't capture any footage direct from the Switch. And the video capture is just like 30 seconds. So constantly doing that will be uh, will be annoying. So I thought, why not just record it old school, you know? Keep it, you know, keep things old school and just keep it, you know, keep it on. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Point is, that's why it's recorded like this, which was tricky because, you know, trying to play with the camera in front of your face is a little bit hard, but, you know, never mind. Um, still doesn't excuse me for taking so long to get here by just trying to defeat simple enemies. But, you know, it, it is what it is. Uh, so yeah, currently enjoying it. It's not as good as uh, previous Luigi's Mansions. Uh, it's still a good game, but yeah. We'll see how it finishes up. Well, hopefully it all kind of, this is like a little mid-game slump just as it's trying to extend its game time and it'll uh, pick up towards the end. But uh, hopefully we'll have another video soon confirming that for definite. So uh, be back with this as soon as we can. <laughs> 